Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about accents. In French there are three major accents. Our first one is l'accent aigu. It is the accent that is directed towards the right side. It is only applicable to the letter E, which is then pronounced E. Our second accent is l'accent grave. It is directed towards the left side. It is applicable to the letter E, which is then pronounced E, and also the letter A and U, but it doesn't change the pronunciation. Our third accent is l'accent circonflex, which looks like a hat, and it is applicable to all vowels except the letter Y. So, the letters E, A, O, U, and I. When it comes to accents, there are some rules you need to follow. Rule number one is that you cannot put an accent on a vowel followed by a double consonant. For example, in the word une étiquette, which means a label, or in the word une omelette, which means an omelet. Rule number two is that only accents on the letter E changes its pronunciation. For example, if we take words from the same family, like fidèle, which means loyal, and fidélité, which means loyalty, you will see that in the word fidèle, the E has an accent grave, so it is pronounced E, fidèle, and on the word fidélité, the E has an accent aigu. This is why it's pronounced E, fidélité. And the same goes for un athlète, which means an athlete, and athlétique, which means athletic. Un poème, which means a poem, and poétique, which means poetic. Un mystère, which means a mystery, and mystérieux, which means mysterious. On the other vowels, the accent does not change the pronunciation. If we take an example with the letter O, we can see that the word zone, which does not have an accent on the letter O, will be pronounced exactly the same as words like un diplôme, which means a diploma, bientôt, which means soon, or le contrôle, which means control. Now, if we take an example with the letter A, we can tell that the word guitar, which means a guitar, um, does not have an accent on the letter A, but it will still be pronounced the same as un bâtiment, which means a building, or un gâteau, which means a cake, or le théâtre, which means the theater. Now, A can also have an accent grave, so it is not to be confused with A, the verb because A without an accent is from the verb avoir and it can be used in a sentence like A-t-il pris son sac? Did he take his bag? A-t-il pris son sac? And A with an accent, which is also pronounced A, is not a verb. It is a preposition that can mean at or in. For example, you could say Je suis à Paris. I am in Paris. Je suis à Paris. For the letter U, the same rules apply. Un mur, for example, which means a wall, does not have an accent on the letter U, and yet it is still pronounced exactly the same as the words une piqûre, which means a bite, or brûler, which means to burn, or le goût, which means the taste. The letter U can also have an accent grave, and it is used with the word OU. And it is not to be confused with OU without an accent. OU with an accent refers to location. 
If you're going to say, for example, où es-tu, which means where are you, you will use où with an accent. If you want to say or, you will use où without an accent. For example, tu veux des pâtes ou du riz? Do you want pasta or rice? And there you will use ou without an accent. Now the same goes for the letter I. If we take, for example, the word une idole, which means an idol, it does not have an accent on the letter I, and it is still pronounced the same as in the word une île, which means an island, or une boîte, which means a box, or the word une chaîne télé, which means a TV channel. Now I'm going to give you some examples to help you see how to use those words with accent and how to pronounce them in sentences. So our first example is Je vais bientôt aller à la plage. I will soon go to the beach. Je vais bientôt aller à la plage. Number two is Mon frère a brûlé sa chemise avec une cigarette. My brother burned his shirt with a cigarette. Mon frère a brûlé sa chemise avec une cigarette. Number three. Il y a-t-il du courrier dans la boîte aux lettres? Is there mail in the mailbox? Il y a-t-il du courrier dans la boîte aux lettres? Number four. Ma mère a très bon goût. My mom has really good taste. Ma mère a très bon goût. Number five. J'ai fait un gâteau au chocolat. I made a chocolate cake. J'ai fait un gâteau au chocolat. Number six. Elle est arrivée plus tôt que prévu. She arrived sooner than planned. Elle est arrivée plus tôt que prévu. Number seven. Nous ne pouvons pas accéder au parking. We cannot access the parking lot. Nous ne pouvons pas accéder au parking. Number eight. Il y a beaucoup de guêpes en été. There are a lot of wasps in summer. Il y a beaucoup de guêpes en été. Number nine. J'aime aller à la piscine pour me rafraîchir. I like to go to the pool to cool me down. J'aime aller à la piscine pour me rafraîchir. Number 10. Nous avons la même chemise. We have the same shirt. Nous avons la même chemise. Well, there you guys go. Merci de m'avoir écouté. J'espère que la vidéo vous aura plu. And I also hope this video helped you and that now you feel comfortable using accents in French. You can also go to frenchwithalicia.com and check out our app and look at our other videos. And until then, à bientôt!